My name is Ben James. And this is the story of my life. I was born on March 15, 2001 in West Los Angeles, California. That is 5,896 days ago. The question is, what have I done in those last 5,896 days? What has my life been like? What have I experienced? What memories do I have? Every one of those answers has to do with failure. Now you may be asking yourself, how is that possible? How has failure been a part of every one of your life experiences and memories? That is what you're about to find out. How failure is not really failure. The fact of the matter is that nothing succeeds like failure. That is especially true within the sport of baseball. It is the only sport in the world where people get paid millions of dollars to fail every 7 out of 10 times. Baseball is a game of failure and ultimately of adjustments. Although I realize that I do not have a future playing Major League Baseball, this sport has taught me a crucial life lesson, and that is that almost every action, experience, and memory has to do with failure. In baseball, failure on the field causes you to adjust your approach and try again. My mentality while playing baseball is that of course I'm going to make mistakes. But what my coaches have always told me is to try to make a different mistake. You have to learn and live from your mistakes, and rather than letting them control you, you have to use them as a route to success, as an opportunity to become better. There are only two ways to deal with failure. One is to feel bad for yourself and to give up and quit. Or the other way is to look failure directly in the face and tell it that it won't stop you from accomplishing your goals. My perception of failure is not something which I look down upon, but rather something that I embrace. One of my favorite memories of my life so far has come through the act of failing. That day came on May 6, 2016, almost one year ago from the date of this video. That day, I had the choice to let failure bring me down and stop me from doing what I know I could, or to suck it up and keep trucking along. That day was the day that decided whether my freshman baseball team would have a shot at the Empire League title or if we would be stopped short by my failures. That game started off as one of the worst games of my life, but ended up being one of the greatest. Up until my confrontation with failure, I had gone 0 for 4 with 3 strikeouts and my team was losing 7 to 4 going into the top of the 7th inning. Somehow, we managed to get the bases loaded while scoring one run but getting two outs. Then it was up to me. I had the choice of giving up, packing up my stuff and going home, or manning up and doing what was right for my team. I battled through a long at bat and eventually got to three balls and two strikes. That was the moment that I decided I would look fairly right in the face and laugh at it. And then this happened. You know well I'm a chicken fry. A cold beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right. And a radio. Those previous failures allowed me an opportunity to have more success than I ever thought possible. And all of the failures and mistakes leading up to this point in my life enabled my team and I to win back-to-back -back Empire League championships. This proves that failure isn't really failure, but rather that nothing succeeds like failure. Once you realize that, life changes and is not as hard as it used to be. Once you accept that all of life is filled with failures, it allows you to succeed on a greater scale. I have come to accept this idea, but at one point in my life, it wasn't so easy. Many of you may not know, but my parents are divorced, which comes with its own set of failures. But once I understood that failure creates success, I realized that my parents' divorce should not be something that brings me pain, but something that I need to respect. I have realized that the failure within their marriage has caused me more success than failure. Their failures created opportunities. Opportunities for them to find people to be happy with, opportunities for my sister and I to grow up into the people who we are today, and opportunities to have the character and personality that many people have come to love within me. What I have realized is that their failures were not really failures, but rather a success. 
because out of their failures came me. One of my favorite quotes that embodies this mindset is by Frederick Douglass, and what he said is that if there is no struggle, then there is no progress. Don't know much about history. Don't know much biology. Don't know much about a science book. Don't know much about the French I took. But I do know that I love you. And I know that if you love me too, what a wonderful world this would be. I have learned that life's failures create opportunities for success. The question is, how will you deal with your life failures? That is my life story. What is yours?